Hey, love bugs. It's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by the channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support that y'all are constantly giving me. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, you know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video you know the, the like i was starting to say this in my um in my opening and closing my my uh my projection of affection towards everybody is blessed is protected so anybody who's coming on here watching my videos trying to push ill will on me or trying to uh read between the lines of what you think you you seen or you hear and you're trying to do some evil intent to it. Whatever you're trying to place on here that isn't a negative vibe or secret vibe or dark magic vibe is always going. It's going to always go back to you, except it's going to be more intense. So, go ahead and start these videos. Um, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Uh, what you face becomes bulletproof. It doesn't stop what's coming. Uh, it stops to penetrate. You know, there's a lot of things that. You know, we've been all going through since this Lionsgate. And it, it just seems like all these major shifts is really hitting, you know, heavy, you know, heavy uh, uh, places in our lives that, you know, it, it, we haven't fully allowed ourselves to escape from. You know, um, and these are the situations that, you know, universe is guiding us saying, hey, you know, this is something that you need to release. It, these are the things that's, you know, hold you back. You know, you need to come to terms with this. You know, these are the things that, you know, uh, we go through and it can be very traumatic. It can be very dramatic. You know, different things, they don't hit you to where it makes you look at yourself different. It makes you look at life differently. It makes you look at world different. You know, sometimes it, you know, gives you trust issues. You don't let people in, you know, and to that point where, you know, universe is showing you different things, but he's giving you a different, uh, uh, it's like a different understanding on the way things are going where you have to really see the unseen you know hear the unspoken you know uh, things are contacting coming in contact with you on a, a very deep but strong level and these are the different things they are wanting you um, to understand you know if these things you know if we didn't go through certain things in our lives we would never know what to look for to go in the opposite direction or what we need to focus on it you know it gives us that movement where we save uh, you know, a uh, drastic situation from even happening. If you didn't go through uh, relationships with uh, covert nar narcissists, what would you really know what to look for when you engage in with a narcissist? When you see somebody, uh, you know, throwing shade at you, you, you be able to understand, oh, okay, they're doing underlying stuff where, you know, they may be jealous of you or they're, they're, they're just trying to get up under your skin. These are the different things that come on to life and it's just like, you know, uh, it's just like you you can't be you can be bulletproof but it can embrace you but it's not coming to penetrate like this is something happening like the heck that hit and that hit deep you know and it's like a lot of things that you may have been in solitude like i was saying in other video you probably had to go and um isolate yourself you know solitude because this is just like you have to become your own best friend you know and it used i used to be in that vibe where i always had to feel like i had to talk to somebody out you know i'm going through a lot you know i want to be able to talk to somebody but this is at that time you know when you're going through something you you auto see always see like learn your lessons from when you stay in contact with people and a lot of times that's pur purposely happening just for you to understand there's certain things you can't talk about that goes on into your life you know um it, it comes to a point where you you dealing with you ain't dealing with that person you dealing with the entity that's probably connected to that person or you dealing with their ego you know a lot of things that you know you may be spiritually gifted and like I tell people all the time it's like a student teacher thing we're learning and teaching each other everything it goes towards that that is uh, evolving in information that we really need to know to get towards that next level from us having contact with different people but you also have learned lessons you know there's a lot of times you, I had to learn the hard way don't never let the left hand know what the right hand doing don't never sit up here and talk about any projects or any things that you you may have an idea of what you want to engage to make something big out of before that happens you know if you want to be able to tell somebody this is what I'm doing this is what I'm doing and it's already set in stone to where it cannot be reversed you know uh, you know be handled in a, a detrimental way or just be totally blocked but you got to understand you, you, you know people were like well Rosalind you know you know even when they drop messages here and I'll tell y'all hey I'm cool 
you know, I always feel like everybody's in this in that mode to where I want to see everybody win, but not everybody got that mindset. You know, it'll be miserable ass people, you know, sitting here don't even know you. And you could be like, Rosalind, I'm about to meet up with my twin flame tomorrow. And next thing I'm like, hey, don't be telling nobody that. You know, I'll be telling everybody. You on that twin f- twin flame journey, you know, or where you're coming into initial contact, you need to keep that to yourself. You know, it's like I tell people, you know, if it's different if we are talking on the phone one-on-one or we doing a, uh, uh, a Zoom, you know, thing or we're, you know, we're... Uh, uh, video chat and that's different when we're one on one because I said I don't you know I'm not that person that want to stand in the way of somebody's love I don't want to you know be that type of person that want to you know spiritually block somebody from what I know they truly deserve but you got hateful people here with low self esteem you know dealing in that that low vibrational energy they don't matter if they don't know you or not and they will straight put all dirt on uh, dirt on your stuff and you wonder why you know I was like supposed to meet up with them and all of a sudden you know these things yeah because you don't put some beautiful things that you about to ignite in and it got a hold of the wrong person and they see you know like i hope they don't feel it i hope they you know they got a flat tire or they just just ghost them all together and these are the different things you know you had to do that you know and i had to learn from stuff like that you know you, you be happy that you're able to accomplish something that you had never did before and it's not about you bragging but you're just happy for yourself because you're you know you're making a move that you were scared to do back in the day you know, you may be not believe in yourself. Like, I don't know if I can do this or, you know, I don't believe I can do that. And when you finally have that willpower to believe in yourself, you can do something. You want to be able to express that. But there will be different things where you ain't even coming out like that. And it's just like some people are just miserable. You have to be able to keep that to yourself. And it's just like, you know, I had to learn from that and I benefit off of that. Because there will be just different times where, you know, um, It'll be different, like, you know, universe is like, hey, don't be out here projecting, you know, whatever, you know, you, you connected with or, you know, your full story. And now if they find it, that's a different story. But if you come out there, that's going to be scoring on you. Don't be, there are certain times where we're going to tell you, okay, this is the time you need to tell this or this is that time you need to tell that. But other than that, you had to learn. And I had to be able to be that way, you know, because it was just like I got tired of all the drama that didn't have nothing to do with me, even though it had something to do with me. I'm like, why are they coming at me with that? You know, I would have people pushing their egos and pain on me and all that. And I had to learn Now everybody needs to let God show them your story. Okay. <laughs> let God show them your story. When he wants you to proceed, you got to proceed with caution. Or they'll just be telling you, sit back and watch. Be very observant. Don't absorb nothing. Observe what's being shown to you. Because when it's like, when we start being obedient, you know, you got that bulletproof vest on, but it'll hit you, but it ain't going to hit you and allow you to embody that that pain that somebody put towards you. You know, a lot of times, you know, it used to get on my nerves where it, it was just like, I got people watching me and then they see, you know, you trying to block stuff, you trying to do this, you trying to do that, but you want to, you want me to doubt myself. And I'm just like, if, is this an insecurity, inferiority, you know, what they call that inferior issue that you got going on? You know, and why are you trying to make me doubt myself? Is there something that you got an issue with about me? But they ain't got nothing to do with me. That's your personal issue. You know, I don't, I don't be telling people stuff like that. Because it's just like, hey, you won't know something that I don't know. You know, I'm going to know something you don't know. But this is what we're doing. We're supposed to come together and support. This ain't no deep, you know, measuring contest. I'm not, I don't got time for all that. Because I feel like everybody could could learn off of each other. But not everybody got that mindset. Because we try to understand just because what you won't do. Don't mean the next person won't, you know, will do. You got to be able to understand, you know, there's just people out there just miserable. <laughs> you know, they want everybody to be mad. If they, they only feel like they're only ones entitled to being happy. You know, you go through different stuff like that. And it's just like when you go through these harsh experiences, God wants you to really see what's going on. Because a lot of times he will allow you to go through that and be like, that, that's messed up. No, no, it's not. You know, even though we may feel that at that time, but you had to really see where that person was coming from you got to be able to see different things you know that you carry that power and it's like a lot of times we have to understand when you're a hey okay the more you start growing and the more you i mean you don't even got to say that you can walk in the room and you already a triple threat just because they they sniffed you out like what is that because i said you notice this i said peep out anytime you've gone somewhere it could be issues you got issues at your job People constantly bring you in the mess. It ain't got nothing to do with you. But they'll put your name in it. 
or it's just like if you you know you have a response or it could be the way you looked at somebody that that day they blew it all out of proportion just to have somebody looking at you funny you know you had people like that and like dang every time i go to a job my mom always like every time you get a job there is always so what are you doing standing there saying hello doing my job <laughs> you know there'll be different things now there are, there have been times where i got too honest and you know you got that boss that you know wants to he wants his ego to be fed. And I said, I'm, you didn't pay me to, you know, to uh, <laughs> deal with your ego. You paid me to do this. You know, I ain't got time for all that. I'm like, damn, she rude. No, I'm just being straight blunt. You know, since we're keeping it all real here. You want somebody to be jealous off of stuff you're doing. Man, I ain't got time for that. You paid me to do something else, and this is not this is not on its time. So I came to do what I need to do, you know. And they didn't like me for that. <laughs> you know, so it's just like, you know, you, you just blunt like that. But it would be different things you're going to go through. You have to understand, you got to put that, that vest on at all times. You know, you're going to deal with it in the street. You're going to deal with it in your family. You know, you're going to deal with it with, within your peers, your siblings, even maybe even your parents, you know, your significant other. There will be different things that, you know, it may be to that point where sometimes in our actions of response, we take it really personal. You know, when people do stuff like that and you, you know, I had to learn, even though that meant hurt, but it, it, it's just like when I see that somebody always kind of, you know, trying to go out their way to make me feel like, like I'm less than or, you know, want to, you know, throw slick shade and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, you got low self-esteem, don't you? You know, you only want got to know everything. I, I see it how it goes and it's just like, I'm going to pray for them because that, I mean, that I'm not, I don't speak on ego. I don't speak fluent in that. You know, I feel like we can all learn from each other. But I said, this you you got going on, that's a battle with yourself. You know, and you're learning through these different experiences, you know, because a lot of times you'll be going through stuff. And, you know, I had to learn, don't sit up here and be telling people what irritates you, what, what how people do you like this. And that's, you know, when somebody in their feelings about you for some odd reason, it didn't even come out of the blue because you, you're just very articulate, you know, uh, articulate with what you're speaking. You know, you know things at a deeper level. And some people are like, wow, you know. And that could be very intimidating. And it ain't even about that. You know, so many people go through different stuff like that. But it's just like you have, there are certain things you got to keep to yourself. You know, because it's just like when somebody be in their fields, they, they will do exactly what they can to just, you know, just to get up under your, you know, just to have conflict with you. And it's just, it, it don't have nothing. You know, nothing to really do with you. And these are the way we, we, we grow grow through experiences you know and just being able to you know really think you know it's just a lot of times when we feel like oh i need to speak to this person i need to speak to this person and i'll tell somebody you ever know this prime example you may be sending a text or it'd be maybe you you want one you, you you know you in that hell you know hell has a fury you know situation and all of a sudden you try to call somebody and they keep on saying uh-uh busy you know, hit voicemail, voicemail all the time. It was like, no, universe, like, look, I'm trying to save you. Leave that alone. Or you want to talk to somebody and you, you end up being slick with a mouth and you telling something that you really wasn't supposed to be saying, even though you knew, you know, you, your intuitive, like, shh, keep that to yourself. And you were just so mad. You want to text somebody, all of a sudden the text didn't go through. Like, I want to get that picture on and get that screenshot that's telling you. You know, or you get on the phone with somebody, you talking about something, you gossiping or whatever. They say, you know, the phone dropped. You know, it'll be the call drop. Be like, oh, well, we ain't supposed to be talking about that. You got to move on. You know, all these different things is showing you, you know, learn from those lessons. You know, they don't want you em embodying something that that stunts your growth. You know, and a lot of times, you know, what as being a human experience, it, it does happen a lot. And they're just telling you you have to learn from these things. That's why we place you in these situations. That's why we have you meet those people. And you look, you know, because it be times we get mad at universe. Like, I'm tired of going through this. It's like I'm pushing out all this positivity. And you got me going down BS lane. I don't want to go through, you know, uh, ego street and all this other stuff. And it's just like you have to learn from these situations. And you'll notice. It's like you notice how you go through these things and now... You're learning from your lessons from what not to do. You know, it's just like you when you, you know, there'll be some things that universe wants you to be able to talk to, you know, people about certain things. But there are certain things that this is like you need to quiet your mind. These are certain things you have to be able to do in solitude because it's showing you when you're going through solitude. And that's they didn't want me to talk about that. So it's just like I don't know if there's a lot of people that's contemplating like, you know, I need to be by myself or there are certain things you've been in and out of solitude lately. And there's that time where universal 
pull everybody away from you because he wants you to focus on yourself. There are certain things that you had to learn and it was like if everybody's around you, it's going to distract you or you may not even focus on that because you're doing everything else. And it's at that time you were that person that was for everybody. And when it got to you, you had nothing else. You know how they say you can be everybody, you know, you can be something to everybody, but you were never that something to yourself and they're telling you all that all that energy you put out for people which is a really good thing but you have to be able to know how to pull back and allow yourself hey i gotta save something for me <laughs> you know because you can't pour out of an empty cup that's one thing you can't do and it's just like now you know you could be you know peopley but then it's, it, i noticed that lately even i'm doing it you know and then you pull yourself back because there's different things you, you're facing these different things that universe needs your undivided attention for because it's telling you you got a bullet bulletproof vest of a shield on you you're protected you are chosen so there's a lot of things don't embody that you know because it's not for you to do that but it's just for you to realize on certain things you know beware of certain people beware of certain things you need to talk about beware of something certain things you just need to be quiet be you know beware of certain things hey we want you to observe this you see what's going on here you know fill out the vibes you know and it's at that point when you've gone through it so much you know and you'll start noticing that language not flipped up you know because i'll you know be different things you know and it, it could be a text or a call and you know you to somebody calling you a certain name or a certain nickname and all of a sudden all of a sudden that mess switch up you even feel the energy before you even get an initial contact with either a call or a text like oh i don't like that you know what i mean like what's going on then you'll notice oh okay it's time for me to pull back nice to meet you love and light peace blessings your way keep in mind howdy you know and going you are gonna save whatever that was going on and these are the different things they make us go through you know these are the things that are are just posed to you know, open up our eyes to be, you know, you got to be very selective about what you do because these are the different situations where God sent you on a destination that's just meant for you. You know, there'll be a lot of times where we feel like we need to be carrying everybody with us. And it's at that time, you know, if they're supposed to be there, they'll be there. But don't be trying to, you know, everybody can't go with you. You know, there'll be different times where, you know, like I said before, you know, you're going through a uh, spiritual awakening. And when that happened, you start seeing how everybody just leave when the, it's like roaches when the light come on. So when the light come on, all the bugs go scatter. But when that lights go off, all of them there. And it's just showing you the, they, these people were only supposed to have access to you at a certain vibration, certain frequency. And the more you're growing, it's not saying that you're looking down at them or you arrogant or you're better than them. But there's a lot of people that only supposed to have a certain access with you. A certain vibration and when you're there and those needs are met now it's time to go you know they'll show you different experiences somebody might you know you know have an attitude or you know you can be talking on the phone with somebody and all of a sudden now they, they want to be able to text with you they don't want to talk and that's why I'll be looking at folks do you not know you know empaths you are empaths and you when all of a sudden you don't flip the script on somebody some people gonna you know they're gonna see it they may not say nothing but they're gonna peep that it's like damn we talk on the phone every day now all of a sudden nah, i'm busy you know hey even the language will change up hey you know I'm, I'm busy right now but can i talk to you or they'll know they'll call you around the time they already know that you're busy and that's why I, when they tell you oh, they don't flip the script let me go ahead and leave it alone our experiences don't last now it's time to move on you know and you're going through that and it was just like, you know, they, they, you know, it used to be like that with me where I had to deal with that with a lot of people. And I would get mad. I'm like, I, I'm not dealing with people. I, I'm tired of this. You know, I'm tired of going through this. It's like either ego or something going on and it's being projected towards me and got nothing to do with me. But it, it is what it is, you know. And it got to that point, like, don't push yourself out because, you know, universe is going to send you towards people that you really need to talk to. You know, but when it's on that vibe, you you know, you have to just enjoy that time. Don't be trying to see a future with these people you don't know. You know, it can even be with family. Just enjoy that moment of the now. You know, it's a lot of us, we go through an issue, whereas a lot of us, you know, I've done it a lot of times. Be focused on the past. You know, it's hard for you to let go of the past. You know, you've gone through different things. And then when the future ain't even got here yet. You know, you worrying about how is this going to move? What if I do this? What if I do that? What if, You know, and the universe wants to be in the present, be in the now. And you've been having to go through those experiences of being now. You know, you're focusing on a lot of things where you, when you start coming strict with yourself, like, hey, I'm trying to level up. I'm trying to get to my blessings. So it is just like when you made that, that harsh 
decision with yourself and saying, look, I'm not going to let nothing hold me back. And that's on period. I'm not going to allow nothing to do that. Anything that's irritating my soul or you are just giving bubble guts to my soul, no. I'm not about to interfere with that. Whatever you got going on got nothing to do with me. Even if you project that to me, uh-uh. I'm about to I'm gonna leave that one alone. You know, and a lot of times that does hurt if somebody's projecting that towards you. But it has to come into that mind. Pray for that person. We all going through a war that a lot of people don't understand. And there's sometimes people wars are more intense. You know, we got people that are willing to be brave enough to face the things that keep holding them back. Or wondering why negativity keep going out when I keep putting that negativity out. Doing things good and well knowing the universe told me not to do it and I did it anyway. You know, and these are the different things you're learning from. You know, that's, that's, that's safety for you. You know, because a lot of times, you know, like they say, you don't know what these certain individuals were saying when you weren't around. You don't know what kind of moves people were making, you know, to plot against you when you weren't around. You know, you just don't know. You don't know who they're connected to. And, you know, and it'll be different things. And it's like, more you grow. And, you know, universe will come in and insight like, hey, you want to know why I took that person out of your life? And they give you a premiere. You're like, are you serious? Shut your mouth and keep up. Yeah, you put me out a good time because I already know I would have straight scalp somebody. I would, I'm homesick. Don't get me started. You know, I'd be one of those things. And the universe, you know, you'll be having somebody pull out and do some real trife stuff to you. You know, and you could have been that person. You, you've been a brother to that person. You've been a real good sister to that person. And these will be different things like why they do that. Because they're not used to somebody being genuine with you. Every person they probably got with, they always had a motive, a hidden intention. So when you come in genuine, a lot of people don't understand what genuine means. You know, because there'll be sometimes you actually encouraging that person being an uplift. And they'll automatically feel like you're setting them up for a trap. Because that's all what they're used to. You, When you come in, you don't realize there's a lot of times... You came in as a blessing. And God sent that you as a blessing to somebody. You may not understand it at that time. And they may not understand it. But it'll be a different time. Like when you when somebody ain't appreciating you. You know how they they say. And I've been hearing that a lot. Through mainstream of universal. You gotta love what you have. For you have to learn what you lost. If you somebody takes you for granted. Somebody ain't appreciating your presence. Okay well you appreciate my absence. You know and there's a void. You know where that was and they'll be at that point in time they'll be like damn I really messed up with that person that person was really there for me they wanted to see me up but a lot of times people will sit up here and say oh you did this you did that you did this I'm like what the hell you know and there'll be certain things I'm like dude I don't show you stuff and revelations in your life I don't probably know you want to set up coming here with that BS and you already know I know you lying well okay bless you keep going that, that that's how my world allow yourself to keep going you have to live and experience through those situations and allowing yourself to not take it personal. So many s strong, positive subliminals you're getting from life, from day to day experiences when it comes to yourself, it comes to the people in your surrounding, in your environment, in your workplace, under your home. All these different things are showing you got that bulletproof vest. And then a lot of times it's hard for us not to embody the different things that we, you know, we may have said something. It's not always about us being, it ain't about being victim. It's just about you living through experience to be able to strength, you know, get your strength. Because a lot of times, you know, we can unsubconsciously put that, that uh, victim vibe, victim mentality on us. But there are some people that are just, they want everybody to see them as a victim, even though they're the main culprit. The one who lighted that match and want to keep on it lighting it. No, oh, this happened to me. And why they keep doing this? And what, you know, doing that. It'll be a time where you have to man up with yourself. It was like, you know, I can have tears in my eyes. It's like, this is happening to me, but I'm not going to let this beat me. You know, this is what's been placed on my life, but I'm not going to let it beat me. You know, and you have to be that, you have to be in that gun hole mentality. This, there's a, a lot of stuff that be sent towards your way to destroy you. But that's going to be your vindication. That's going to be your redemption, your salvation. You know, there's so many different things that have been sent to destroy you. You've been doomed from the daggone womb. You go all the way back to the beginning. And you will see how you, I mean, you were danger prone Daphne. You don't probably had near death experiences a lot. And yet you done came back. And the more you go, you know, you touch the upper room and you come right back. You don't, you don't open up a doorway. You know, somewhere. You don't open up a doorway where you don't became you know, connect it with something that is going to keep following you. Some of it can be good and some of it can be bad. You know, and these are different things that happen. You know, if you, you know, you read different things or on movies and stuff like that where people 
have this near-death experience and all of a sudden they're hearing and seeing things, you open your mind to the unknown. You're opening, you have a very, you know, uh, open mind. And so that when you're like that, it, it, certain things going to be attracted to you. But it's just like different things that we go through. It could be happy, sad, you know, really messed up, you know, beautiful. You know, these are the different things we're learning from. You know, they want you to be able to consume the good, you know. I uh, appreciate what something uplifts you, you know, gave you that love for yourself, you know, just like it could be somebody that really came into your life and you impacted them, they impacted you on such a beautiful thing and all of a sudden they transition, you know, and it, it, it can be very hard, you know, it's, you know, it's a circle of life, but, you know, when that person is not there in the physical anymore, it, it makes you want to remember and it is just like spirit will be telling you we don't want you to be sad even though it happens you don't want you to be sad I want you to live for me every time you make a breath you take it one for me you know think about the good times we had different from the different things that we joked and laugh about the stupid things we did you know the emotional times the crazy times but don't allow yourself to linger you know in that bad vibration that's not what your life is supposed to be about even though a lot of times, human experience, spiritual beings, but we have human experience. We tug around that because sometimes it's hard for us to, uh, uh, what, what, what is it, fizzle out, I guess that's the word you want to use, or you're trying to find your way out of that. And we walk around with that pain for a long time, you know, and it, it, and it is just like, you know, this is the matter of the heart, the matter of the mind, because it could be something very, very hard, you know, uh, to deal with. But, you know, they, it will be different things that take place in life that can really trigger, you know, and like I said, it, it brings you on the line of your purpose. There's a lot of times you can be that blessed one that didn't go through all that crazy stuff like a lot of us hey okas have. You know, I, I mean, you know, it's like a shooting star. I get one every once in a while. I'm like, wow, I didn't have all this stuff going. You know, I had a very supportive family that had to deal with this drama. You know, when, you know, when raised or being around narcissists, I said, you know what, you had a good life. Well, tell me how you did that. You know, tell me how you move about. Well, I'm just used to dealing with people that really went through some harsh mess you know and had to go through that wake up of life that really you know hit them to where they, it was hard for them to really bring people in you know and I totally get that you know I, was, I said I still be putting barriers up I don't went through so much stuff it's hard for I said shoot if family and them can do this oh I'm, I don't really second guess that on stranger so it, it's just I gotta I'll figure you out you gotta go through different you know vibrations for me to understand okay do they get that that <laughs> do they get that that currency to be able to come through there it'll be just like uh what's that movie my one of my many favorite movies uh Constantine you know he went up there and be uh going to go see Papa uh uh Midnight almost at uh Papa Legba like no <laughs> ain't the one you trying to call but you, you had to be able to see certain images on a car to get through there. And that's, uh, that's me. I was like, you, what's that? Well, okay, two frogs and a leap, you know, uh, sitting on a mushroom. Oh, okay, you can come in. You know, what do you see? Two rabbits uh, knocking on the door. No, that ain't. <laughs> you can't come in. You know, and these different things. And it's just allowing yourself to live in love. You know, a lot of times when, when it comes to that, you know, we have trust issues. You go through that, you know, and I had to be able to, you know, let loosen the reins a little bit. You know, sometimes you have to mean to be hurt, you know, and it's just like, what you, you have to be open to be hurt because, I mean, you learn from so many things, you know, and a lot of stuff we learn and we grow through pain. And they want to be able to know you have to be able to do that. But there are certain things that's been sitting your way and are not in a good way, you know, because you chosen. If you chosen like that, oh, yeah, <laughs> they got a lot of stuff coming to you. And we feel like in the days, anybody ever seen that movie with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? I think that's what it was. When um, old girl from Craft, you know, you, you just a walking destiny, you know, you the golden child. And they trying to make sure they killed you because there's something about you that's really going to take, you know, take everybody to the next level. And they ain't trying to do that because you already know you hold that key to make the world change. And they don't want that to happen. So a lot of us, that's why we hidden in plain sight. Like, oh, no, they're not hitting those categories of what a hayoka is. <laughs> like, yeah, you did. <laughs> we the hybrid. You weren't looking for that. You know, and you're going through th different things. You're hidden in plain sight. But we all have our assignments, you know, your eyes them to the side. I mean, you know, it would be one of those different things that you're doing. But it, it's just like where, where everything that you're going doesn't mean that you need to embody. These are the things that happen to help you grow. These are the things that really teach you valuable lessons. And remember that, 
you know because a lot of times we get towards people and i had to be able to check myself too don't say you didn't you wish that you never met people because it, it'll be that, that time where i may be saying something and it really makes my question exist and i'm like girl stop coming out uh, loosen up the, uh, pump the brakes a little bit stop you know but you gotta understand you know some people that's the language they speak but it's just like i, 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 I don't stop talking about you know i stop using that language but just being able to understand we give you these experiences so you already know how to move accordingly when these things happen don't that everything that comes towards you is not pose and body you you pose oh okay that's what that is okay move along you know and i had to be like that you know especially when people coming in out of my life i had to really stop taking that personal because i used to tell myself i'm not allowing nobody to get close to me it's going to be strictly this i'm not waiting on chit chat on the phone because i'm tired of going through this with people ain't got nothing to do with me and i ain't got nothing to do with me i would learn from you know certain things that i did there's like hey you can't be doing that you know we learn it from different situations but now it's just like don't do that you don't know how you blocking your blessings just because you blocking everybody out your life because so many different things that happen don't mean that every every encounter is going to be that way but you got to be able to be very observant about you gotta be very selective about what you talk about what you're doing what what's about your story you know not everybody's supposed to know those things but it's just about you giving a seat of experience so it'll reflect on them on what you you know you're supposed to make that impossible possible and that lives and breathes within you you know and those are the things that happen because there's so many people in the world they feel like when you've been hit with the worst of the worst there's all all this bad is gonna come to your life and there's some people that think like that but they would choose some you know special individuals as yourself you know to really go through something and it's just like people are going to see that is not possible for that to happen with that okay well ask that person what they went through and you come back and tell me that again you know and they'll they'll tell you stuff because it'll be different different people that you know connect with me and i'll be looking and it'll, it'll really pull in my heartstrings to know you know what happened with that person because a lot of times when people connect with me in that way I get flashes of what they went through just to be able to understand that person on a metaphysical level and I'll be y'all had me shook like oh my god you know how did you make it this far you know and it'll be really hurtful and then it's just like when they turn and they make negative choices I have to understand you have to understand where they're coming from this is the reason why they act like that this is why they move in that type of vibration you have to be patient with some people or if it just to that point that this is detrimental towards your your, your well-being of growth and it's you know holding you back you have to be able to be strong enough to let go you know and move it along still send those you know you have to be able to move accordingly send love and blessings toward that person because that's exactly that experience both of y'all need it now it's time for you to move on you know it's not good or bad happy sad whatever but you know certain swift changes like that like where did this come from you know why are they acting like that the connection expired you know that's it you then i can tell you this person just because they come into your life and say they're gonna stay there but all these experiences you have is giving you strength it's giving you knowledge it's giving you that love language of growth that you really needed and this is that thing where you're going to put that shield up because certain things is coming to you eventually. Because, see, you got some slick folks out here. I had to learn the hard way. They're coming in because your name been put up in some stuff. And they trying to get to you. If they can't get to you, they already don't know they messed up. They're going to send somebody else. And, and you know, they're going to be that cloak. And you got to be able to keep your eyes wide open. Don't be eyes wide shut. You have to be able to see what language they speak. And you was this covert cloaking. Or, you know, they trying to fish. You know, or they trying to get something on you. I'm like... There ain't nothing about me that I ain't already said about myself. And I'm not going to sit up here. If it happened, it happened. If it didn't, it didn't. If you're about to sit up here and make me look bad, baby, you're only making yourself look bad. Because I'm not going to try to convince somebody of something I really don't care about. Because I'm not here about pe people pleasing. Either you're going to like me or you're not. Either you're going to believe me or you're not. Or my message, you're going to get it strongly or you're not. You know, I'm just, oh, I didn't do that on it. If you believe it, you believe it. You, don't, you ain't going to explain yourself for what? <laughs> I'm question is why does that person have to keep coming back and telling you bad stuff about me that should tell you don't be looking at listen to the stuff they're saying look into the character that's projecting out that mess that's what you need to be really worried about you know because a lot of times people people see something good in you and they all they want people to do is see you bad because that's the way they want to see you because you done intimidated the hell out of them and they fear you they fear what can become of you that's why a lot of people don't support you just because it's you you know, if they see something in you that they don't feel like they inhabit themselves, which they do, 
they, oh, they'll create a whole character that don't even, they ain't even you. You don't been in some, some, so many daggone things. You be looking like, excuse me, what? <laughs> you know, I don't know what you do. You don't know that? No. Tell them to show you the proof that they want to keep telling you stuff like that. And if you prove, let me see. You know, different things. You know, that's why it's just with me. I love being a homebody. You know, I love keeping to myself. It eliminates to a lot of drama I ain't, I'm not going to deal with. I be hearing different things. I'm like, oh, God. Okay. You know, like, ain't gonna bother. You know, it used to hurt me when things would come back to me and it'd be something I ain't even done. Now it's just like, I'm like, oh, I see they on that character. You, you must be, you got that inferior issue, don't you? You, you want to one-up somebody because you feel some type of way that I don't want to be bothered with you no more. Or you can't manipulate me. Or you can't pull the wool over my eyes. Well, I'm seeing blind of your BS. So you're going to make all these little di different things about me. Well, okay. You ain't going to fight? No. Because it's not, you know, it, it doesn't resonate with me. I'm not going to worry about what people say. There's always going to be somebody who's going to talk bad about you. It'll be somebody you hurt. Yeah. Don't be somebody you really hurt it and like, yeah, you know, I really messed that person up, you know, and I hope one day they can be able to forgive me. I had to go to God for that. You know, and I'll be telling this people that I, I did a lot of hurtful stuff to people. I'm not going to sit up here and say, oh, everybody's came and attacked me and I ain't do no wrong. No, I, I'm that transparent one. I done messed up. I messed up a lot of times and I had to pay dearly for that. You know, repent dearly for that. You know, understand that certain people are just going to have that same image in my head because I embraced them with that kind of tragic reality when it came to me. But there'll be a lot of people that'll sit up here, you know, and connect with me. And it's like, you know, that girl done been through something, but she done held on her truth. She was very transparent, you know, and she just allowed herself to flow fluently like that through truth and being very transparent, you know, allowing us to be able to know her experience and, you know, where she grows through it. She's helping us grow through it at the same time. You know, and being able to understand that, you know, and get to that point. You can't control everything that people say about you, you know. Because a lot of times people don't like you just because other people love you. You know, people ain't going to support you just because it's you, you know. If people don't like what you're doing, they go sit up here and throw all kind of false subliminals in there. Because you trigger them. It's like when your light is bright, people do anything and everything to try to dim it. Handle yourself accordingly. I ain't about to dim my mess for nothing. You know, even not even clap on, clap off. No, that light stays on 24-7. It's just like Motel 6. We need the lights on. <laughs> you know, so you will be able to go. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification. Shout out to Timberwolf and a spiritual self-mastery. Much love to you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. You know, if you have not dropped a line, I would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I leave my contact us. Uh, uh, information in the description box below up under the video it's all about spiritual networking you know being able to understand your line of purpose or a different you know uh, a deeper uh, meaning to whatever you may be going through or certain things you may just want to share with me and just want my input on it you know I try my best to be able to do that um, and whatever we speak on is confidential you know I help out the best way I can if you're ever interested in podcasting if you can't take the video I got a lot of uh, podcasts I got on here as well it is placed on Spotify and a couple other pod podcasting um, uh, apps whatever you want to call it stations whatever you know I do those too it's on my community section on my uh, channel you know um, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life you know and you're having struggles with them sending so many beautiful vibes your way you know stay persistent and consistent you know something that's going to be great is never going to come to you easy so don't give up you know if you have to take a pause for a cause and just you know hold off for a minute and just you know regroup do that but don't give up that's what the devil and your enemies want you to do because they see something very you know you, you got a strong potential and there a lot of times they don't want you they'll con you know try to contradict you and think you're not so don't sleep on yourself stay woke you know don't give up you know the devil could be sitting up here trying to make you give up today just because your blessings may come in tomorrow you know stay consistent you know because it's just like if you going through all this you must be having something very unexpected and very huge it's going to bring you down to your knees and you know devil and enemy don't want you to have that and you deserve it so you work hard for it and you're going through it and he, um good intentions trust me you got blessings coming so allow yourself to do that i hope you have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible and safe for everything you do whatever spiritual uh what is it i said whatever spiritual social distancing you know make sure you give out love light positivity words loud frequencies you never know they can really take somebody a long way and just because you're doing that with no intentions of anything in return it's going to take you even further much love to you namaste shalom i say uh much love to you peace god bless